there with Coach Karen Ferguson days, minutes after a 3-2 win over the Boston University Terriers. Coach, take us through the process in this one. This was uh, closer than maybe expected? Yeah, well, no, I, I won't say closer than expected because I have a lot of respect for Boston University and for Nancy, and I knew they were going to be a really good team. Um, I thought we scored two really good goals. I thought we set the tone physically and with our ball speed in the first half, and then got really proud of ourselves and didn't come out in the second half and, and do what we should have done. But in all honesty, I thought BU really took it to us. Um, had us on the ropes for about 15 or 20 minutes in the second half and we were able to get a goal. Uh, our response to their goal was exceptional. I thought we played some good soccer after that goal and were able to get our third goal. Unfortunately, I think it's 12 seconds later they got this, the, their second goal. So a little bit um, crazy, hectic, a lot of different emotions. They played with a ton of emotion, at least in the second half. And um, at the end of the day, we get the, we get the win. They did have a rapid respawn on their both those goals, but the, they seem to have a very, very interesting substitution pattern, like they would just empty the kitchen sink on you at times. No, yeah, they've got a lot of players, and, and why not try them out, right? So that's a team that's um, slated to win the Patriot League, has been in the NCAA tournament uh, 15 years. Um, so they come and play an ACC team, they've got nothing to lose, so play everybody. And they were exceptional. They were really, really good. So um, I think that was a great game plan by Nancy, and they're very good off the set pieces, and I think they're going to win a lot of games moving forward. Three new players started for the team this afternoon tonight, Gabby, Amina, and Taylor. What did you make of the performances? I thought Gabby did a really good job with her spacing behind our back four. A lot of times their through balls, Gabby was connected to our back line and just completely eliminated any of their attack. Um, and she did a really good job of crosses, holding crosses, and she's also very, very vocal, which is good. Um, Amina is special. Amina is a different kind of player. I, I don't coach Amina. I just kind of <laughs> let her go and do her thing. Um, would have liked to have been able to get her a sub in the second half. I probably missed the boat on that a little bit, but she's um, she's for sure special. And then TK is playing wide at the back for us in, in place of Shelby. Um, and she's doing great, I and mean, that's out of position. She's a center forward who's playing left back, so um, she's really plugged in. She's coachable. She's eager to learn. She's a really good athlete. She's tough defensively, so she'll um, she'll get better every game we play, but she did, she did well tonight. Things you'll be working on as you get ready for your next opponent? Transitional moments. I think we tuned out a little bit in transitional moments. Uh, set pieces, defending set pieces. Um, and our mentality, you know, we can't think a 2-0 lead at halftime is enough to win a game. That's that's a pretty dangerous lead in soccer, so we'll, um, we'll be better. We'll get better. It's the first game. Scheduling, oh, go ahead. scheduling was a conflict for you kind of last season. You had a lot of quick turnarounds. You had only have one day of rest. Does that worry, does that worry you at all? I mean, that's that's the way it is, right? That's for everybody. So I, we play Miami on Sunday and they play tonight. They're probably still playing right now. So um, we can't put too much of an emphasis on that. It's our only Friday, Sunday weekend. Um, it's good that it's in the beginning of the season because we've been grinding through preseason. So we'll just grind it out through the weekend. It was mentioned earlier that all three goals tonight came from girls from the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Do you remember that ever in your career here? Actually, no. I mean, but that's pretty impressive. So, um, yeah, Allison Whitfield, right? Amina. And then, uh, which Brooklyn's goal was special. I mean, her, the goal was nice, but the first touch was even better. So, um, that's pretty cool that all three kids are from, from Louisville, from Kentucky. Coach Karen Ferguson days after the 3-2 win. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Awesome. Thank